What's up, everybody? It's me, Greg Miller from IGN.com. I'm here with God Among Comics, Marv Wolfman. Marv, how are you today? I'm godly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are moments away from going inside of the DC Online Mega Booth Tour thingamajig. We're going to talk about the game, what's happening, everything that's going on. Marv, please tell me, what are we talking about today? Give me the sneak how preview. You have energy at this hour. My God. You know. I've been here since Wednesday, Marv. I have not slept yet. I am ready to do it. Okay. What do you want to know? What are I'll we talking about? What are, what's getting revealed? Last time I saw you, you were revealed. That was the big announcement. Now what are we talking about in terms of we're the game? Talk, we're talking about the game. We're talking about how close it is to DC Universe. We're talking about how big this game is actually going to be, how beautiful it is, uh, the types of stories that you're going to uh, uh, find yourself encountering when you enter the game. Uh, we're going to talk. We're going to show some clips. We're going to show what it's like. We have Jeff Johns here. We have Jim Lee here, and I'll be here, and we'll all talk about what we're doing and how we work with all the guys at Sony. You know, uh, what I like to say is, when you're playing in an MMO, you may have a guild of a hundred people. It's exactly the same here because we're doing our part. Then they take what we do and explode it out into hundreds upon hundreds of missions. So it's an incredible crew of people all coming together to do one hopefully fantastic game because everything we've seen so far indicates this is going to be like being in the DCU. From the writing level, I mean, what do you have to do? How broad are your concepts for them to be able to break out these you know, hundreds of missions? I write, uh, I write um, whether it's a paragraph to a whole page to something more, detailing what the characters may be doing, what the overall concept is, uh, who the characters are, why it's in character, and give a rough concept of what the mission is. Sort of what I would hand in for a comic book plot uh, for approval. Uh, then I'd write the script. Well, that's what I give to them, and what they do from there is they may break it out into 60 missions. Uh, and then it comes back to me to make sure it's all in uh, DCU type things. So I'm coming up with all the idea, all the rough ideas, but then they're taking it. Then they may come up with the ideas, and in many cases, the various people there, when I go down to Austin and we're sitting in a room together, they'll generate an idea, then I'll expand out on that one. So, as I say, it's like an entire group. It's, we're a guild coming together to tell these stories, and everybody is contributing uh, to one degree or another to make the final product look so good. And if you see the game downstairs at Comic-Con or you see it uh, at the panel, you realize this is really beautiful. Now, do you have to go about approaching this in a different way? I mean, obviously, in DC Universe Online, you can be a good guy or a bad guy. Do you have to go into situations thinking, well, what would the Joker do? What would Batman do? Absolutely, because if you're in a mission with the Joker, it's going to be completely different from you being in a mission with Batman. They operate differently. It's not even that they'll, tell, they'll follow you or tell the story in the same way. The Joker may decide to turn on you. The Joker may decide to send somebody after you. He may let you go along with him. He may not give you information. Uh, the Joker is always going to act in character. Batman's going to act in character. The big difference between a comic book and, and the game is that you're part of this. So you're going to be interacting with the main characters, whereas in the comic, you're, you're reading a story that we're telling you. But in here, you're going to be part of it. But the characters are going to be in character, which I have not seen in any of the MMOs that I've played previously. Now, down on the floor right now, we're showing the Star Labs mission. Right now, some, there's a zombie outbreak, kind of. There's a poison gas. Joker wants it released. Heroes want to stop it. Was this one of the ones you had to come up with? Uh, this is one that they generated up front. I came up with a little bit of it. Uh, what they did, because they had the uh, build worked out, they knew what rooms were going to be there before I did, but I've been down there since. And now I, I've been adding more missions to it as well. But everything passes by all of us which is the great thing. It's not one person generating everything. It's a whole bunch of us coming up with ideas. So I may come up with something that will sp spur them to come up with the poison gas. Um, and the way we use STAR is it's constantly coming back in different ways because STAR is the main DC science lab for the good guys, which means things are going to get screwed up on a regular basis because they're going to keep doing things that won't be working correctly. And the first time I used Star to any degree was with the first issue of Teen Titans, and what happened? The big invention they were doing exploded and turned one of our characters into cyborg. So great things always start at Star, go wrong, and something happens. 
Great. Um, I know we're getting down to panel time. Is there anything you want to tell people here that they wouldn't have known? They're not at Comic-Con. They have to watch it. Sorry. Uh, well, you've missed everything good, and that'll teach you for next year. But in the meantime, I think you're going to... Uh, you should just know this game really fits into the DCU. Jeff Johns, Jim Lee, and I are not just names that they're using. We're actually involved with every part of it as well. Awesome. Thank you, Marv. For the latest news, check out IGN.com. For everything DC Online, check out the site you're looking at right now, man. Come on!